advice. Especially like, fighting games I that have like an in, like, like mandatory no install. That, I Morgan, want please. like you editing they do and like uh, explaining the characters and telling us why we should okay. care. It's so cool that what burst the music so much and I should shut up now. It's true, because we did smoke back then. So we'd be like, oh, install screen? Okay, time to go sit outside and smoke and bullshit for a little bit. My mother really liked this flower. Flower, yes. Small flower. No name. It grows somewhere here in Greenvale. Although I must admit, I've never seen it actually growing anywhere. I think it would make my mother happy. What the hell was that? To get her that flower. George, that's good. Great idea. Hello? Every woman likes to see flowers. Oh no, just uh, yeah, heard some very, In any case, heard some very loud noises, and I was like, well, what is this? Oh! Of course not, George. But I'm going to find that flower for you. It might have been... Oh, okay. What kind of might noise was it? That. Oh, that's not me. I heard that too. What, what was it? It's like little rumblies, like small rumblies. Yeah. Bam. Say so face, you're in the chat. This is Flare Friday. I want you to tell why I want you to tell Nick why he's wrong about MGS two. No. Agent Morgan. You have oh the God, floor, he, sir. he's he's typing, it's gonna happen. Yes! Tell your mother I hope she gets Because I need more people on my side here. This will make her feel at least a little bit. For once, you're actually right about something. That's what I needed. <laughs> FK and the MGS3. FK, MGS2. It's an emergency police radio. <laughs> wow. If you're ever in trouble, use it. And I'll be right there. Thank you, George. Yes, please, Sega Face. <laughs> Go nuts! Oh snap! I can move the camera now, around. This Morgan, is. Don't take this the wrong way. It's not an emotional thank you gift for helping hmm. me with my mother. I'm giving you this so we can do our job. About like a ten dollar sink of frozen yogurt today. It's delicious. George is acting all sincere. All right, and so that radio lets us jaunt around town. Without right? It's actually quite awesome. Anything. No, I'm not mad about Raiden. Like, I don't kick my sweet home. What is this? Gee, sweet home. <laughs> That's the best sound effect ever. What the fuck? Where am I? Like, the way, the way they did Raiden, like, I can see why people would be mad, but... The way they handled him was so great. What the shit? I got a house in this one? Like, most people only came around to him, like, when he went Cyborg Ninja, but I really liked him even without that. I don't hate EE. -E. No, EE is awesome, too. Literally any character I've seen named Emma, I like. You don't watch uh, Once Upon a Time. No, I don't. Look at this. This is kind of cool. I don't know why I have a house. This seems super redundant. I assume this is York's house. Whatever. There's literally only two Emmas that I know, though. There's Emma Emmerich oh, and Emma Sky. So. Oh, they took the mirror out, though. It's probably there. Just the texture didn't load. No. They took it out. Holy fuck! This bathtub is huge! Oh, I see it now. You could... You could have a... You could go into people's dreams in that thing. Yeah, you could... You could do Inception in that thing, not... Not anything weird sex related, that's not where I was going. <laughs> Okay. I'm lost though. Where's oh there's that door.
Okay, so now all I need to do is save. And then I can jump back forward in time. I just left the fucking house that probably had a save point. What is wrong with me? You just gotta go jump in your TARDIS. <sighs> oh my god, second face, I don't care. I'm broke. Wow, rude. I. Yes! See, here's the thing. No. I. No. I. No. I no. have. No. No. I think I've portrayed no. that I hate MGS3. But I don't. I just think that's kind of where the series starts to diverge into something I don't like as much. <laughs> because, like, <laughs> it's still a great game. It has a great story. But it seemed to get more open. And, you know, that's usually a good thing. But I don't like it in Metal Gear. I kind of like the claustrophobic feeling in Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. A lot more, and I like the open feel of three and four, and especially five. I don't think I'm an especially bad person, but did it was it really worth this? Has has what I done in in accumulation worth this? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Can I save? I can't save. Thanks, glitch save point. Just, 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 fuck. Just it's... fuck me up. Just fuck me up, bro. Save point over here I'll try and use. Oh, I can't use any of the save points? Well, I guess I'll just go fuck myself then. This is a PG-13 show. No, it's not, Brett. We don't have the uh, the age gate on, so it's totally PG-13. <laughs> okay. Okay. Use the radio to go back to the hotel. Oh, radio! Tell me everything. Oh my God, Ronnie did it. He actually tweeted at Tom with hashtag all butts. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> did he really? Yes, he really did. Oh my so god. He just linked me the tweet. Ronnie Flat tell y'all. Yep. First, I need to follow him from both Sig Addicts and my person. Yeah, I already followed him on my person. A real American hero. Truth. <laughs> 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 this is the best! Okay, why can't I save? Oh, uh, whatever. I guess I'm just gonna quit to the title screen, because I can't save. You can't save? No, so how that's horrible! Oh, Flocky Cho has, uh, found the one half of my OTP in Ace Attorney. Well, I'm in a- in a past- in a past mission, so that might be it. Just got to oh, Sega Face, no! Episode 2, Part 1, Chapter 8, yes. Adrian Cross Francisca is best Perry. F. K. Because whips are involved. <laughs> okay. So, fingers crossed. I should still have the radio in my inventory. I don't. No! Great. All right, so let's watch Nick do that again. Flocky, no. Flock, no. Flocky, no. No, no. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Investigation. Previously during Further the investigation. Previously during the investigation. Oh God, not the investigation. Investigation.
I'm always gonna talk about the investigation. Andrews. The healthy so emotional good. attachment to prosecutor for this government karma. So did I. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna check on something. I wanna see if something exists. Now that you've brought that up, Sega Base. Well, I only have to make a quick little jaunt and then just smoke my lungs off, so it'll be fine. Hey, when old bag and Edgeworth. Yes! <laughs> It exists! <laughs> Every old year it exists, Brett. Old edgy, twist these old bags. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> 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 yep, Von Karma's an Anonymous spinoff. So are Kay Faraday and uh, Maya. Jeez. You know what would be awesome is if Swery had made accidentally duplicated that bug that's in Big Rigs. Where I can go infinite speed if I go in reverse. Go in the mountains. That'd be the best. I would love to play some uh, on a mission goal. Mr. Marshmallow, that was sarcasm. Yeah, it's sarcasm when it suits Brett's needs. <laughs> well, that's, how, to... that's how sarcasm works. Well, that's how John Cena's promos work. I bend the rules to suit my needs. It's true, it's true. I'm just, I just have a lot of hustle, loyalty, and respect. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Well, anyway, my stomach's starting to get to me again. I think it's time I drop out for the night. Okay. Do you want to plug out? Oh, um, yeah, I guess so. Um, I'm, I'm sure everybody that's already here already knows my Twitter handle, but if not, it's uh, ridiculous. And uh, we actually have an idea for what we're going to play this coming Wednesday. Um, we're actually going to play uh, Ren and Stimpy. Stimp or exactly. yeah, we'll finish our chat later. Stimpy's invention. Let's take a walk Holy here. shit! So, nice. Yep. And uh, what's cool is that, that it actually a had a birthday day, this office, past Monday. On hunch, um, let's see. I can't remember exactly how old according to the calendar, but either way, it was on the Genesis, so it's pretty damn old. <laughs> But, um, yep, we'll be playing that this uh, coming Wednesday, so be sure to pop in for that. It'll be cool. Yay. Marshmallow, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You might not. May not. Anyway. But, yep, that does it for me tonight. Hope I wasn't too boring. See you guys later. Bye. You aren't boring. Bye. Never boring. <laughs> oh George goodness! Whitman. Trading card. All right, yeah, time to just smoke outside George's house until eight at night. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, bye, mom. Just leave it. Just gonna smoke this one cigarette for almost twelve hours. Snake is so jealous of you. So how much did you lose? Like how much time did you lose? What do you mean? As far as like not being able to save, like nothing. I went back in time to do this side quest and I couldn't save dude to Oh. Save. So I couldn't bring the side quest item 
back forward in time. Scotty is sending us things via Skype. Hey, we still have seven viewers. Yeah. It's quite impressive. Oh, the ass sticker. I remember that. No problem, Sega Faces. Good to see you as always. Night, Sega Face! Time to smoke some more. <laughs> what? Uh, what Scotty said. What did Scotty say? Hey, he's sending us stuff via Skype. Oh. Shit balls, there you go. What I want to know is where you get stickers like that. I don't know. Custom made, maybe. Take this. Oh, Scotty need to make me some, like, say, like, I don't know. Surprise me. Okay, so, now we're gonna use the radio. Oh, it's a school supplies store. Go to the Great Deer Yard Hotel. Oh, we hear his radio. Like, uh, Radio Guru, Radio Gaga. All right, what I'm gonna do is sleep and try and go to the uh, police station instead. Find Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, Brett. Well, I think he's like the only Ace Attorney character that has been referenced tonight. So. No, wait, Trucy Wright. I haven't found a way to work her in. But why would I? I mean, I'm not flocky. Really? <laughs> That's what you're going with there? Oh, of course. Yeah. Scotty wants yeah. an explanation for the Hawaiian suit. The explanation is, I look like a baller. That's true. Cosmo Kiryu should be wearing this. I'm way too hyped to be balling on a budget. <laughs> oh, Flocky is like just wow. I'm gonna hit this drink up like it's my last. Let me hit these lollies up like they're my last. Wait, that's Flocky's job. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even See, have the not, enthusiasm. It's not just me. No, it is just you, because I didn't want to do that. <laughs> then why did you do that? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Can I save? I can't save. Fuck this game. I don't mean that deadly premonition. Don't. Don't crap out of Barry is probably watching. We just lost you no know, we just lost a viewer. That was probably sweary. He's never gonna retweet us again. Uh did he retweet us this time? I'm not sure. You should check before you make bold claims. I am checking. Nah, he didn't retweet us this time, but you know he's probably sleeping. He is. It's not his fault. It's okay, sweary. It's just now, like, 11 a.m. over there, so... I need to normalize my sleep schedule. I get the feeling that after the next four days, I won't be able to. Unless I, like, fucking slice my other fingers up and sleep some blood loss again. If you have trouble sleeping, if you are an insomniac, 
Just kung lao yourself and everything will be okay. Hey kids. Hey kids, cutting yourself is cool. Wait, that's Stevie's gimmick. Not the cutting no. yourself thing, the whole People bad advice thing. Seriously. Not those bonus features in TVDs nowadays. You know the ones for Lolly is the most no bonus material. They are. Even if they do look so like says Mr. Flock Lolly is pretty bad. Well, the flock star has spoken. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video Dan we bought? He wanted to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened? You can't beat be me, I'm a flock star. A I'm rhyming on the top of a cop's car. I remember renting some really bad I'm a rebel on my fourth floor cop's car. It's almost and over and now, almost over now. Directed and written and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re released in 95. The 87 minute long theatrical release. Ah, oh, that's such a beautiful sound effect. But that was around the time I joined the bureau. Nice donut! I chance to see it. Thank you, I know, Sam. I know I'm like 25 seconds together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Now we're talking about movies. This is MGS3. Yes. Right? Are you riding with Paramedic right now? I wish. Paramedic was awesome. She was awesome. I liked that whole team, the real quick. Closed. Like, Sigit was cool. This Paramedic was awesome. Here. We'll have to come back another time. And I actually ended up hating MGS1's story just because uh, of what happened there with them. Like, oh god, we killed Sigurd? Yes. Fuck this game. Eh, you know. Good intentions. Yo, this week. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Zach, it's past Yo, time. this weekend when I go get groceries, I'm gonna go get everything I need for a kick ass Bento box and show you all how fucking kawaii I am. Hoping to see some progress today. What you need to do, Flocky, is you need to make a cat face with, like, your fucking eggplant or something. Cut hot dogs into tiny octopuses. Yeah, exactly. Like, play Tekken 6 and look at Asuka's ending when she drops her lunch and just remake that. What in the hell? Can I not? Are you kidding me? I guess I have to complete this day. Whatever. I know where everything is. Gotta find these keys again. Take out my sword. Wave Rob. it in this dude's face. That's a euphemism for something. It is, look. Bam! Oh! <laughs> this cop! <laughs> Slice still, him up. I'm still 20 seconds back. I, I can't see anything yet. Doesn't matter. Tell them to take out their samurai swords and shave your butt. I said that! Oh yeah, you missed this part, Brett. They're all, uh, he needs the keys to the thing, and they're all squirrel-related keys. Beautiful. That's how I would, you know, do, like, any sort of, like, Horrible underground sex dungeon. Oh, good. That's where <laughs> you took it. It's just squirrel keys. Underground That's... sex dungeon. I saw an albino squirrel today. I took the one. It's very weird. When you say albino squirrel, do you mean, like... White fur and red eyes. Oh, nice. It is very strange, but kind of cool. I don't know if it was photoshopped or not. But... Okay, so you didn't see it in person. No, I didn't see it in person, though. 
<laughs> this is West Virginia. We're not going to see something that cool. We're going to see some fucking bears, but... Oh. Or squirrel. You found the key. That's the right one. If you find the uh the dreaded underboob squirrel key, I want it. Ah, Clip V is here. Southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. God, I wish Clip well, Zach, were we just got Los here Angeles. And we've cracked a big case already. <laughs> we're playing Deadly Premonition. Deadly P. Look at it, cat girl. Everybody, cat. waifu, sploosh. Yeah. Where all I see is a southern flying squirrel. For the time being, she was working in the AMG diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Ah, uh, so we could call you a Los Angeles Clipper an no and make fun of your horrible new uniform. Okay, don't don't listen to Brett. He does not speak for all of us. All right. What? Okay, forcibly saving over my old day. Do I get paid for it again? I do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now I should be able to save the radio. Radio, someone still Previously during the investigation. Thank you, Brett. Been listening to Electric Six a lot lately. Well, a lot more lately. Okay. So now let's take a look at my inventory. Sword still there. Radio. Is still there. All right, that actually will make a lot of things a lot easier. Oh, there. Oh yeah, look, it's Did you it's Kason. No, I was just passing by. <laughs> I didn't so I don't know who all here. watched. The uh, the door oh damn it! It's no, no, that's, all. that's not sacrifice. Okay, so. I don't know who all watched the D4 stream, but Swery puts Forest Kaysen in every single one of his games. Yes! Forest Kaysen. And he's always nice the villain. I travel mm. a whole lot, you see. The tree saplings. Jury's the out on uh, doing the usual D4. Trip. Sometimes I don't know. I don't know. He acted like very villainous. Like be spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Especially with that stinger ending. Special agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year. John Goodman's motion capture, while. indeed. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed. <laughs> when it said Scarface, I really meant uh, Scarface first. He's just taking over our lives, Scotty. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry, he's a good boy. Do you like dogs? As any good professor would. How you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops, before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Uh, thank you. How kind of you. You can just tell this guy's a horrible villainous asshole. So, what yeah. brings the old FBI out here? Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. Say hi to Willie. The Man, I bet there's still Doge there. based around that. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. Uh, Marshmallow, Amanda is not okay. Forrest Kaysen's oh, daughter. Darn shame. Amanda is, uh, the, the freeloader cat. Yeah. Could I ask you something? Who may or may not you also be a reference to... Seeds? Garden. And a reference to the you unborn like a daughter. Thumb, but let me tell you though. I'm no, I'm pretty sure it's just the cat, because their cat was also named Amanda. 
there's a trick to Yeah, but it's in the form of a little girl. It's like and wasn't what's her name pregnant when she died? Peggy. Yeah, she was. Yeah. But you know, so I think it's supposed to be a mix of their cat much, and their unborn daughter. That's no interesting. She's not a little girl. Kind of like you do recall she's like an adult woman in a yeah, leotard but, that we dress up well, in sexy yeah, clothes. See. But she's this also part cat. Love them. <laughs> so I mean, anything <laughs> is possible. Go take a stroll, yeah. so the dog does have amazing reverb. You're right, case. Scotty. Thanks. Look, it's sweary. Anything is possible. It's sweary. Zach, do you remember what the coffee said? All of your dreams will come true with Swery 56 or 65. Okay. This show has just begun. I need to get me a suit that is as well cut as York's. All right. So. Right on. What? Let's talk to Polly. How oh. you doing, Polly? Hi. Let's see what you've got on your mind. What's wrong, Polly? You look a little tired. I'm fine. Well, it's just that I was cleaning up my room, and so many memories came flooding back to me. Memories? Oh, my dear! Mr. Morgan, that's not the kind of question you should ask a lady. <laughs> so let's see. So now we can do a side quest for Polly. I don't actually know what that unlocks. Shut up, Floggy! Oh, hi. And let's see what she's got. Yes! The baller suit. The rainy striped blue suit. Let's see what else she's got. Cola! The cola. The grape cola. I can be excited about this. Shut up. Let's buy some lollipops. I don't know if Brett's here or not. Oh, I'm here. I'm okay. Here. I gotta pass out for a second. No, okay. right. If you wanna go. Ah, I should be okay. Man, it's just been a long bloody day. <laughs> That's all right. uh, I would like to take this time, this public platform, to offer my sincerest fuck you to uh, the Campbell Soup Corporation and their reluctance to adapt proper flip top open lids on their SpaghettiOs line of products. Oh, because motherfuckers, I just, I, like I said, I couldn't loud my thumb. I, um, I fucking like cut it right down the middle. I'm not able to do anything except for, like, use my phone with my left hand and play 3DS games. And even then, it's just, like, stuff like Ace Attorney that doesn't involve face buttons. So you're just gonna blame them now? Yes! Okay. Absolutely. Because this wouldn't have happened with the Chef Word lid. Because they are smart enough to have flip top lid. Lids. Okay, so that is all the food. And actually, no, I'll put this suit on later. Looking like a good, proper scruffy agent. One second, I will be RB. Okay. When Brett was like, I'm going to take this po time to... I thought he was going to actually say something. And then he told Campbell's to go fuck itself. So that is what you get. Let us see. <sighs> Have you ever eaten a whole potato? Because a whole potato should satisfy more than just a little bit of your hunger. Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. I guess if I'm going to be compared well to anyone, I don't mind being compared oh, to I was Pierre Bernard. 
Thomas helped me out, so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. <laughs> Diane got back in this isn't much of a recliner of rage, though. It's more of an office chair of rage. Which means going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there. I'm so dying the by the fact that I dressed up Emily in this cat girl suit. Time for some art appreciation. Nothing says a serious game quite like a cat girl. That's why my new favorite game is Necopara. What's that? Neko Paradise. Okay, please sell me on this game. I don't need I don't need much selling, but sell me anyway. You going you just talk to a bunch of cat girls and you solve their problems. Sold It's on sale right now on Steam. That might be the first good sell of the summer sale. Just like Diane. I've, I've actually been quite disappointed in sale this year. Well, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted? The sense that this Diane is not part of the world. Oh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. That's actually really not bad. Depending on how bad the PC port is. Goat Simulators 249, Saints Row franchise. Now, you might think, Nick, you'd want to uh, go directly do this case. Not so. I have one goal, and one goal only from this week's stream. And that is. Oh, shh! What? The Ultimate Saints Row franchise pack is ten ninety nine. dollars And what does that get you? Saints Row 4, Saints Row 3rd, Saints Row 2, Saints Row 3rd, Yankee Bowl 7, Gangsters in Space, in Trouble with Clones, Fun Time Pack, D-Style Pack, oh my god, this comes with a lot of stuff. Enter the Dominatrix? Yes, that is the expansion pack for GTA 4. Does it come with Gat Out of Hell? Uh, I don't think so. It yeah. comes with Saints Row 4 Season Pass. No, Gat Out of Hell is a standalone. I don't. I don't see Gat out of Hell, but it has everything else. Quit. And Gat, and Gat out of Hell is only nine dollars right now. I'm half tempted to jump on that. That's actually quite a good deal. See, Mortal Kombat X is forty four ninety nine, but it is the worst fighting game port of all time. So no, <gasps> it's not, Fred. If you want. Oh uh, no, on PC it is. It's really bad. We don't have time to mess around. Neko Para, sixty nine. Uh -huh. from 10 to Project Cars is thirty dollars. I'm interested by one on PS4. I didn't actually buy Neko Para. Oh damn! I'm going to. <laughs> Blaze Blue Extend is fourteen ninety nine. That's good, but I already have it on PS3. Yeah, I can't play it with you guys if it's not on. You know. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is nine dollars. Well, what the shit? Where's Gal? Oh, Swear 65 is the bar. Life is strange. This is just went off. Go get it, Scotty. <laughs> Go to it, Scotty. Vault. Oh, get. To Quint thinks he can out. Th Quint thinks he can outfox me. He doesn't know that I have Google. What time is Quint's house open? How do I get inside Quint's trailer? Nobody judge me. Oh, I have to enter my birthday to continue to Nekopara. That means this is a great game for lovely people. What's totally no Okay. So that means I just smoke until about five o'clock in the evening. Overwhelmingly positive user reviews. What? Nekopara? Yes. <laughs> Two thousand fourteen receives game of the year at the very end of the year. It's a hell of a game. A must buy for all cat girl lovers. As a setting for boob bounciness. <laughs> this is 
wonderful. Tom already owns this game! <laughs> Beautiful! If Tom owns it, I, I can get on board. Oh, right. So Try now playing it. Quint's house is open. Thanks, Google. We're gonna just eat this hot dog in the rain and go in and interrogate the shit out of Quint. After a little tinkering, got R18 version up and running, so I will spend holidays shagging drawn virtual and thermomorphic cats, and only God can judge me. Jesus. Why did I just hear yep. myself? That was me. Alright. The only game on Steam that has a chest bouncing a slider in the options menu. Actually, absolutely revolutionary. That's not true! Dead or Alive 5's on there! At the time. My family might think I'm a loser, but I know I'm the real winner being surrounded by all these kawaii necker ladies. Hmm. What am I doing with my life? 384.8 hours on record. Holy shit! <laughs> Just raid Quint's fridge. Oh yeah, cola. Oh, what a sucker! He left his spike unattended. <laughs> Another one. Is, Thanks, Dad. My brother walked in on me during the bath scene, and he's never looked so disappointed in me. He hasn't talked to me since. One hundred nine point eight hours on record. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the exit button. Send help. 2,229.2 hours on record. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. 63.6 .6 hours on record. Hmm. Show him the red powder. Nekopara is about a dude who ran away from home with two cats that are supposed to be cat girls. The cat girls are just delusions of the protagonist. They're actually just playing cats. What is it, Quint? It's Fuck uh, those cats. It's just ten out of health ten. Food. That's right. Damn. Uh, grounded like coffee beans made from the seeds of a plant. Totally legal. All right. So why was it in the tank of your bike? I couldn't find anywhere else to keep it while I was riding. I've disappointed my ancestors. That it was in there. You know, riding along and you suddenly get hungry. Or maybe you find someone on the road who really needs food. Can't you give me an honest answer? I'm telling you the truth! Very well. If you must persist in lying. You won't mind if I take this and get it looked at, will you? Let's taste some more reviews. I love this. You said it was totally legal, right? Then there's nothing to worry about. Am I wrong about this? No, it, I don't have a girlfriend, but now I don't need one. 665.7 hours on record. Damn. Ow. <laughs> this one just says help. 490.8 hours on record. By Steam user Boatfucker. <laughs> that's, that's what we've I found, come to. I found one even better. I mean, I guess it's alright. I'll have to play it more to give it an accurate review, though. 1,004.7 hours on record. Nice. Oh my god, this is even better. Oh my goodness. This game changed my life. After my wife left me, there was a hole in my heart I didn't think I could ever fill again. I was no longer able to find joy in games, so when I first started this game up, I wasn't expecting to be so emotionally captivated by a made cafe story. I was wrong. The first time I met eyes with Chocola, something moved. Me. We instantly clicked. She laughed at my jokes. She liked talking to me. Sure enough, we quickly fell in love with each other. Never before have I seen a raw emotion of true love emulated so purely. What surprised me is that Vanilla also began displaying affection towards me, and she went over my heart as well. What can I, I, what can I say? I guess I'm just too much of a hunk. 
keep playing and your mic is as good as me. The animation really makes them seem alive. I keep instinct instinctually reaching out to the screen to pet them. The art is not only Where'd very cute, that? but the characters are extremely realistic and believable, Quince and you really feel connected to the characters. It's even himself. better than talking to humans. Before the you don't have before I had longer. this game, I had no on one. Your side. Now I have not one, Will but two you know? cat wives who love me. Yes. Who it's needs anyone else when you have these beautiful ladies loving you unconditionally? So Even better is the immersive alone, programming. Okay? The characters always seem to follow my well, eyes and whisper my name at night. Me, I can't figure out how you guys program that. Great really job, though. The game is so learn. good that I'm never going to stop playing. I'm finally happy again. Thank you, Neko Works. Okay. 1,574.6 hours on record. I did not have sexual relations with these cat girls, I swear. 637 hours. Oh god, this is full of puns. Three, 3,962 hours. Don't ask me for anything. How? Get us both killed. Zach, I was hoping we'd get a little bit more out of it. Oh my god. It's okay. We'll get more when we hand over the ring. It was really it's hard to explain to my parents when they barge in my room during the lewd Neko shower scene. How do we still have people watching this? Is I'm I... sorry I made this joke. <laughs> Itty bitty kitty titties. 6.2 hours. <laughs> I don't see how people can put a thousand hours into a visual novel. Anyways, I'm gonna go to Cope's Tunnel because Cope's Tunnel will let me get the unlimited uh, machine gun. And uh, actually, well, let's see if uh, I can do the go back to Quince uh, place first. Oh, yeah. right, there's another game on stage. Yeah, what? I totally forgot, there's Deadly Permission. Which, how, how could you remember that when you've got, you know, Eddie Bitty Kitty Dennis? I'm playing it. I've been sitting here progressing in the game while you guys are talking. <laughs> how about you guys? You just mean me, because... Well, even, L was well, here. Even, even Flocky Cho has left. He's too disgusted. Oh, maybe I'll try it now, just to squick people out. Squick. Oh, hey. Quint's trailer's open. Time to present Quint with the ring of his fiance and just ruin his life. Oh, boy. I'm gonna tear it out for this. Hmm. Where did you get that? Becky gave it to me. She's Joseph gonna marry to me now. She can't accept it. N T R N T R N T R. I think she was Jeez. extremely worried about you. I'm just guessing, but she's been giving you the plants to make the red powder, hasn't she? Then you rode your bike out of town. You went on a trip, and you sold the powder somehow. You bought that ring with the money. That's why she gave me the ring. She wants to stop you from making any more trips. She doesn't want you to get involved anymore with this. But... I did all this for her. I started out delivering... because I wanted the extra cash. Aww. But you know, things like this change over time. As you can see, so lovely. her family is loaded and I live in a trailer house. Aww. She's out of my league, you know? And so I... Yeah, but you have I your own trailer. The guy she could be with. Quint, you already are. You didn't need money for that. <laughs> have things gone too far? Because of me. That's a pretty ballin' trailer, though. I know, right? Do things over. It's a double wide, and he owns mm -hmm. it all on his own. And he's got a fucking bike you inside of it. Me just for a little while. I want to apologize to her and promise her that I'll never carry that junk again. Just give me a little time, please. I'll turn myself in once I've talked to her, okay? Zack, what is he talking about? Huh? Why would I arrest an innocent youth such as yourself? Quint, I'm busy with a murder investigation here. Oh. We can talk about health food another time, okay? If you really want to confess, you could always try a church. What do you think, Zack? 
It, it isn't much, but I want you to take this as a thank you gift. What the? Zack, another young life saved. Good job. You have acquired things. Yes. So, that is the end of this mission. So, we ruined his marriage. He's probably not going to get married now because his wife's like, stop being a drug dealer. But the good news is we took his prized wrench, which is an invulnerable uh, melee weapon. Kick ass. So weapons break in this game. Yeah. Melee weapons break. Um, ranged weapons can run out of ammo. And so the, the main bits of the side quest give you all sorts of cool stuff that can make it easier for you to just basically play the game. Let's see. I feel like uh, the corpse tunnel side quest now. Nice. I'm not. I'm not used to games where weapons can break and shit. Like I'm starting to get used to that in Fire Emblem. Yeah. And like, uh, that's so frustrating. Well, it can be. Okay, so just follow this rule. Really. It's like I'm used to like just wail on with your most powerful shit, and everything will be okay. And then I do that in Fire Emblem. And it's like, okay, everything's not okay anymore. You've broken everything. Good job, idiot. <laughs> Basically. It adds a level of strategy. George, don't you fucking hit my car. Yeah, I thought so. I didn't think it would do that since I'm playing on filthy casual mode, though. No, that's a staple part. Invincible weapons would just make this game way too easy. But I figured just losing, uh, not, like, not losing units would make it easy. Oh, is that part of casual? Yeah, like, uh, that's why I chose that, because I'm not ready for permanent death yet. Just reset. That's what everybody else does. Oh, shit, I need gas. Uh, I don't want to save scum in another 3DS game. I already do that in the Ace of Pending games. Uh, you have, you're gonna let... Anybody who plays Fire Emblem and says, I don't save scum. Oh, so you lose people. No, never lost a person. Liar. Oh, uh, who is best girl? Is it Anna? Because my girlfriend has told me about Anna, and I want to meet her. Hey, look. It's Gina. Out in the rain and that close. Let's fill her up. <laughs> let us know if she wants us to... If she wants her to Self pump service. it. Self-service. Oh, Tharja! Oh, go ahead. She's gonna pump it. Pump it in the rain. Pump it constantly. This is totally Sydney from FF15. Wash our car. Get Repair Sydney. our car for the death of a, of a behemoth. Just lick our windshield. <laughs> I would fucking... FF15 would be game of the year if Sydney did that. Just rub your butt right up against the car. Thanks, Gina. I've heard of Tharja. I I've seen many cosplays of her. horrible, but there's apparently nothing I can do to fix it. It's horrible, but charming. Is it? Yeah, it has its own charm. That's so weird, but... What? You're talking to someone who can see the silver lining and everything. No, you can't. I totally can. No, you can't. If you saw the silver lining and everything, you wouldn't hate stuff with the intensity that you do. Good point. Hey Brett, I think SmackDown is the best wrestling program anywhere. 
Well, it's two hours long, so it's, <laughs> al it's already got advantage over Raw. It's two hours long and somehow worse than Raw. Because it's raw light. But it's condensed. So it's not like dragged out with like an hour of this is what you missed two minutes ago. As Monday night roll 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 <laughs> As Monday night raw rolls on. Monday Night Wheel. <laughs> it's a Monday Night Wheel, Michael. Well, Stone Cold said Monday Night Wheel. Wait, when did he say that? When he was on ECW. Oh, shit, you're right, you're right. You and your refusal to observe ECW. Uh, I just kind of forgot that happened. I always forget that Stone Cold was on ECW for a time. Forget that ECW is awesome. Oh, it had its moments. It had way more than its moments. Mike Awesome versus Masato Tanaka. Any such other a matches? Weird one for you to. What do you mean, any other matches? Any of their matches, oh, like okay. any of their matches, like from the first one up to like One Night Stand, are just like, wonderful. Rob Van Dam on ECW is amazing. Uh, Oh, that was, that was when RVD actually tried. No, it's not just he tried. He'd say he was allowed to cut promos, too. That, too. And he had a character. And he wasn't... He was hey, allowed... I to might smoke weed, but I can't talk about it. Shh. <laughs> Dude, the, I think my favorite Rob Van Dam moment, though, was... Weirdly enough, his promos with Triple H, they're in their title feud. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Dude, you are, you, you are so awesome. You are totally awesome, I mean, you can spit some water, dude. Oh, shit. He's choking the shit out of me. He's grabbing my dick. What has Marshmallow sent? I don't know. I assume it's Tharjabot. Oh, wow! Hello! What? Yuri storyline! Yuri path! I'm in! Really doesn't take much to please you, does it, Brett? Just give me a Yuri path. Nice shot. Take his bullets, take his butt. Who are the zombies now? Nice shot. It's explained later. Nice shot. Oh, nice headshot! She's Bray Wyatt-ing! Yeah. That's where he got the spider walk from. He just played alive deadly. He played deadly premonition, and he figured it out. <laughs> it's like this is what the this is what the WWE universe wants. So yeah. you can't you can't marry her, but you can slather her in baby oil. As a you know girl. What? That's good for me. that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. That's all any good Yuri storyline needs. Is baby oil and slathering. But like on the real, like I've been, I've been chomping at the bit to play some Fire Emblem today, and I can't, because I can't hit face buttons with my thumb the way it is. Hmm. Like I, I bought it just because, you know, it was on sale. It was a damn good price, and I've heard very good things. I've watched Sarah play it a few times, so, and I figured, you know what, I'll try the demo. If I enjoy that enough, I'll buy it. And, but I'm really getting into that game more than I thought I would. Well, look what happens when you try things. For real. It, it, it's quite good. It's quite good. It was either that or Fantasy Life, but I don't feel like Fantasy Life would be up my alley. But I feel like I could get on board with Fire Emblem. 
Plus, that game has its own Carla, apparently. It has uh, Anna. All of her stuff involves her sitting on a pile of money. And that is my kind of girl. You and your money gimmicks. Nice shot. It's weird! Car I really wasn't, like, that into the money gimmick until Carla happened. And then Okada happened, like, right at the same time. And it's like, that's the perfect storm of people who make money fall from the sky. Well, there you go. And then, like... Well, no, maybe I, no, maybe that's wrong, because I really like Lily and Tekken and Karen and uh, Street Fighter. What the shit? Come on, there we go. Great. But it really didn't explode until fucking Carla happened. Chocolina in FF13 2 is a damn good one uh, as well. She's like your typical. She's like Billy Mays and a Chocobo had a child. Okay, I don't know what to do. Is this. No, oh, let's stay. Let's get this stupid submachine gun. Well, now what you do is get you get inside the taxi, and you go out and make some crazy money. Hey, hey, hey. And I would still beat your high score. What's your high score? My high score was like, like uh, 6,500 in the 10 minute thing. I was on the podcast a couple months ago. Yeah, I wasn't there for that one, remember? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Like, I spent all night trying to beat Scotty's score. Like, I am at least going to beat Scotty. If I beat L and Tom, that's cool, but I'm going to beat Scotty at least. I had, I have my pride to protect. At least after the, uh, Dreamcast Marathon where I beat him. Speaking of the Dreamcast Marathon, we should, uh... Yeah, so why don't you go ahead and start doing some plugs, Brett? Because uh, yeah. as soon as I do the Co Copes Tunnel, it will be all good from here. Yeah, we should plug the Nick starter first. Uh, we are uh, having the Dreamcast Marathon on September 5th this year. And for the first time, we're all trying to do this in person. Previous years, we've done this via, you know, like getting all our screens through... Uh, Google Hangouts, which is a pain in the ass, but we're all trying to get together in one place for the first time this year, and um, the one issue is trying to get Nick to Pennsylvania for the show, and we have a GoFundMe page. Uh, I will. It is linked on the main site under the podcast post, but I will post the link in the uh, in the chat right now. And uh, if you like everything you hear, if you like the banter between all of us, and you want to hear more of it, you want to get us together for the uh, historic Dreamcast Marathon, just click this link, and uh, if you can donate, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And it would all goes to getting Nick to the show. There's going to be prizes uh, for donators as well as people watching it's not just about like getting him over there it's all it's also about getting you guys involved getting you guys some prizes and stuff like that and it'll be a very cool thing so i've already planned out two uh double secret rainmaker challenges for the marathon for some very very special prizes so uh please be excited yeah and you know uh just let me know if there's stuff that you guys would like to see you know I know it's a it's a lot to ask you to just consider tossing some money to our way for this thing, 
And you know, if you want, if if there's a uh, a thing that you guys would like in exchange, you know, um, let us know. If you uh, want all of us to dress as John Cena, we will do that for you. No, nah, I can't volunteer, everybody. I've already agreed to uh, dress up as John Cena for the stream. If people were wanting to donate money for that, I've agreed to um, go to the airport wearing some sort of uh, sweet dank shirt. Um, is this come on. Look, like me and me and Nick will both dress as John Cena for your amusement. It's true. I, uh, one of us will be the Doctor of Thugonomics, and one of us will be the Marine. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, like Scotty said, uh, I've, I've already volunteered to grow my hair out and shave it off for you guys, if that's something you wanted. Uh, I, these are all weird suggestions, sure, but, uh, you know, basically we don't want, we want you to feel like you're getting the money's worth. Yes, exactly. Because we are asking a lot. This is the first time we've really done anything like this. And we are asking a lot, but we want to make sure it's not, like I said, it's not just a thing for us. It's something very cool for you guys as well. And very Absolutely. entertaining for you guys. It'd be really cool. We hope be... that, yeah, we hope that it's something, uh, even if it's something you not don't want to, you can't do right now, maybe it's something you consider in the future. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, we got... A uh, little over two months left until the marathon. Still got a ways to go, but any little bit helps. Even if it's just like, you know, even if it's just like a dollar, five dollars, something like that. That, it's incredibly appreciated. So, the link is in the chat. If you're interested, please check that out. And for more Sega Addict stuff, you know, if you're not, if you're not thinking, yeah, I want to do this yet. Why don't you just come and listen to the podcast, listen to any of the other streams. At Sega-Addicts.com, we've got something going on pretty much every day of the week. Absolutely. Monday nights are when we record the podcast, and we usually get it up within the next 12 to 24 hours after recording. And then there's Sega at XAM on RadioSega.net. That's me and Stevie. Maybe the occasional special guest. We had Tom on uh, since we were having some technical difficulties the other night. We had Tom on, and uh, that was a good time. We talked about E3. On the podcast this past week, we get uh, we went to E3 and we were attacked by the Pitchford, Randy Pitchford himself. The yes, the Pitchford. He was after us on Wednesday nights. It's Ridiculous Wednesday. L and Sega Face do that. This past stream, they beat Yakuza, and this week they're going to be doing Ren and Stimpy on uh, Sega Genesis. So that'll be fun. Thursday throwdowns. 9 p.m. on the Twitch channel. This week, if I am healed up, we will be doing Mortal Kombat X. Me and Sega Face will be taking the lead on that one. And uh, that's going to be a very fun time. I, I cannot wait to actually play this on stream. Uh, it's a wonderful game. We'll be doing that for a couple weeks. Of course, as you've seen tonight, the Flare Friday, sometimes with Flocky, sometimes with me. It's always a good time. We're going to be doing Deadly Premonition next week? Yes. Absolutely. More Deadly P. So, so if you want more Deadly P, you want that sweet sweariness in your life, come on back here next Friday, same time. And so occasionally on Saturdays, I don't know if this is confirmed for tomorrow. Um, it's. I think it's officially deconfirmed. Officially deconfirmed? Okay. I won't mention that then. And then oh, no, no, it's, it's worth it to mention. Uh, we have an on again, off again thing called Splatter Day. That's when L, Flocky, and some folks around uh, the stream like to get together and play. Uh, sorry, like to get together and play Splatoon. And so that is something we do on Saturdays. And then finally, we have Lazy Sundays. And that starts at 8 p.m. usually on Sunday nights. Yeah. What are you playing this week? Uh, this week, uh, I don't know if Scotty can join us even for a little bit, uh, but we are going to be trying to do some Velvet Sundown. Got the name right again. <laughs> the Velvet Rubdown. Yes, the Velvet Rubdown. Uh, it is a free-to-play, multiplayer, massively multiplayer, online, role-playing game. Not role-playing like uh, Level 5 Fighter, Role-playing like you are pretending to be this character. 
and uh, it's pretty cool, pretty weird. All right, I might so join yeah. in if I'm healed up. Yeah, and and like I said, it's free to play. So if you want to join in and just go around, you can slap and tase people. It's a pretty cool game. Uh, yeah. So there is. It is. It, it, its real name is NHL Slap Shit. NHL Slap Shit. Uh, that's it's that's our uh, first goal. We might be delving back into some Dino D Day, or maybe not Dino D Day, Monaco, or maybe Monaco. some other things to see what would... we've got on the channel. But yeah, tune in. It's always a good time. Sometimes John Markley joins, and that's always a fun time. Yeah. John, actually, John is definitely going to be joining us for Velvet Sundown. Sweet. I like how you have to pause for a second. I do have to, to pause. Make, <laughs> to make sure you get it right. Make sure I don't say Velvet Sky. <laughs> Chris Saban will be very angry. I don't care. I don't care about Chris Saban. Anyways, that has been our show for the night. Oh, yeah. right. We, did, we didn't plug our uh, our personal Twitters, which I oh, am Rain... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I am Rainmaker Agito, and you are... You can find me, woo, the Nick Flair, on Twitter. You can also there find me that it. on uh, Steam. Excellent. And I am uh, I'm Rainmaker Agito on Steam as well, and Cyberventure on PSN. Indeed. All right. So does that about wrap it up? It does. Thanks, everybody, so much for joining. Like I said, we're going to be doing some more Deadly P next week. Hope to see you guys back here. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you want me to play Deadly Premonition better, uh, let me know. If you want me to stop playing Deadly Premonition, deal with it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we always appreciate comments and uh, feedback. Thanks so much for listening, guys. You've been great. Good night, Good night everybody.